Oh, you want to see it? What's up guys, Kevin here. Really nice seeing you again. Uh, today is something else. I mean, uh, it's been a while since I had this much fun with a lens. It's a special day because now we're gonna look at not like a normal lens, but the first affordable anamorphic lens. It's um, the Siri or Siri 50mm f1.8 anamorphic lens. Really nice and oh man, it just feels also and the looks of it. I mean, wow, it's yeah, I'm really pumped. It's really a nice lens, well built, heavy, uh, but not too heavy, but you want to have that, you know, the feeling of quality. Well, that's here. Also the rings really well made. You can focus precisely. You can yeah, adjust your aperture without clicks. So that's really nice during your shot. Of course the front, I mean, wow, it's, it's just, just look at it. I mean, it's, it's obvious that you got an anamorphic lens when you got this mounted on your camera. And if it's not obvious enough, uh, they put a lot of prints on it, so anamorphic here, front anamorphic, so it's kind of shouting anamorphic 50mm. Not really my thing, so I'll, I, I will get rid of those prints, but under that, really nice build, 67mm um, uh, thread, so yeah, it's quite common. And you got it in uh, a mount for a Sony, you got it in a mount for a uh, micro for third sensor, and you got it for a Fujifilm. Um, downside, there's like a, a minimal focus range, focus distance is uh, 85 centimeters, almost a meter. I mean, that's, that's quite, quite a distance. With this focal length, I really would love to like shoot some detailed shots, some cropped shots, and it's not possible. For instance, I tried it out at work while uh, doing this uh, video for this new product we have. And um, yeah, I, it was a pity that I couldn't get closer to get the details, get some crop shots, you know. Now I have to maybe film in 4K and crop digitally, but it's not what I really want, you know. Um, so that's that's a downside. Uh, another thing also, you can see I got this follow focus thing on it. Um, yeah, it, it lacks that, you know. Uh, it's, it's nicely built, but for a cinema lens, um, I would prefer to have a, like a cinema um, focus ring on it, you know, which you can directly attach to your follow focus, uh, like Samyang lenses have. Yeah, I, I'm not sure why they didn't do that, but hey, whatever, it's still really nice. It almost has no um, focus breathing. So that's really well done, well built for something like this, so small. And I got to try this new lens thanks to my friend at TC Imaging, uh, because it's not in the stores yet, but uh, I just wanted to have a play with it, try it out. Uh, and it's really nice so far. So um, yeah, while having this lens, I thought, hey, this is a good chance, a good opportunity to discuss th this topic with you guys, anamorphic. I mean, it's, it's nice, um, but do we want to have anamorphic? Do we need anamorphic? Are there any downsides though? I think that's a nice topic to discuss for this video. First, if you don't know what anamorphic is, I can tell you, but it's better to show you. So here's a short sequence I shot with the, this anamorphic lens, just keep a close eye on, uh, on, yeah, on everything, just, just watch. So that's nice, right? Yeah. Okay, so what you saw is anamorphic. So uh, three things. 
what you saw is the expert ratio is way wider than you normally have with a, a 60 by 9. Another thing, and maybe you didn't notice it, but the bokeh, the bokeh is more oval. Also has to do with the build, of course, of the anamorphic. When you look into the lens, you see the aperture, it's already in this oval uh, shape. So the bokeh is oval and that gives like an, an, another feeling, another yeah, image and something that you associate with cinematic shots. And um, well, the most obvious, of course, when there are harsh uh, light sources in your shot, in your composition, then there will be those nice lens flare stripe lines, you know, it's really nice. So that's anamorphic. So back to topic. Um, yeah, do we want to use it? Do we need it? And uh, what are the downsides of using a lens like this? Uh, first, I think it's nice to, uh, yeah, to change this around, to put this one on the camera and just have like, uh, yeah, that, that cinematic, that, that, that anamorphic feeling, you know? So I'm gonna, whatever, check it out. Okay, so there we go. Well, you can see the difference immediately. It's, it's the, the aspect ratio, of course, uh, quite wide. And uh, woo, you know, it's it's different. Uh, I shot it with uh, the 25 before, so you can know uh, the, compared to the shot before 25, and now with a 50 mil anamorphic, and it kind of looks like it feels like it's wider. So I have to check it, but we gotta pump it up. We gotta spice it up, you know. So I'm gonna put on some uh, lights and uh, yeah, let's go wild with those uh, flares. Okay, there we go. So let's see. Now we got quite a nice, quite nice shot. So, um, but what we miss is that 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 harsh uh, the light source. So I'm putting it on right now, and now we switch it on, and you can immediately see the flares. Really nice. I'm gonna show it with some motion. You can see what it does in your shot. You can, but it has to be directly in the lens. So if I'm doing it like this, there's no flare. So you have to put it into the lens. And there you have it. So really nice. Um, yeah, let's not get distracted with the flares. I continue with uh, oh, the anamorphic lens I got now on my uh, camera. So uh, do we want it? Yeah, of course we want it. I mean, come on, it's affordable now. So if everyone can 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 pay it, can use it, can buy it. You know, if you want to keep your um, so I, I think yes, yes, I, I really want to have like a lens like this one, um, but do we need it? The other question. It depends on the kind of video film you're making. Um, so as you can see now, this is, has kind of a feeling, uh, more of a sci-fi look, maybe like a cinematic thriller, you know, it's really nice to have this, have this nice effect, the look of feel you get with an anamorphic, but it's not suitable for every film uh, style, you know, maybe you're shooting like a documentary or something, something that has to be as real as possible, most closely to the human eye. And that's definitely not the anamorphic. So when you're shooting like private, safe and private Ryan film or something, maybe you just want to use a normal lens because then when there are like harsh light sources, you don't get this flare. But, but you can of course shoot with an anamorphic because still the look and feel is really nice of it. But then you have to keep in mind, are there any harsh, harsh light sources? Yeah, avoid those lines. I mean, it's, it's not really nice to have them in like a more realistic setup, you know? So my advice, if you want to go and buy this lens, you want to go anamorphic, my advice to you is also get some nice lights because if you want this you have to need some nice lights i mean like like this led light it's really nice to have like a small led panel or something but then the source is not like one spot so this is it's still nice but as you can see now the flare is wider you can see it if that's something you're looking for, then go ahead, make your day and go wild with uh, larger light sources. But if you want like a thin line like this one here behind me, maybe I can pump it up a bit, power. You can see now the difference is that it's smaller. And if I'm using this, also pump it up. There you go, there. So you can see the difference. This way it's wider, you know? And if you go for something like this, then you can see it's yeah thinner. But hey, there you go. That's a small advice, piece of advice. Get a nice light if you want to use it. Maybe some more uh, practical lights and uh, go wild with anamorphic because it's really fun to do. So um, 
Well, I think that's it for today. That's the video for, uh, yeah, about anamorphic. So now you know what anamorphic is, what I think about this lens, and maybe if you want and need it for your shot, what the downsides are. Keep in mind, the focus distance is one, 50 mil focal length, uh, combined with the uh, expert ratio, maybe sometimes it's not possible to get the shot because you have to go way back. Uh, just keep that in mind guys. Big thanks uh, to my uh, friend at uh, TC Imaging for sending me this lens to try it out. Um, really great, I'm really excited and I'm also very excited to hear that there will be more focal length. So uh, I'm just waiting for that to happen and then I will get my first anamorphic lens of course. Yes, please. So that's it guys, the video for today. I hope you liked this video. Uh, don't forget the thumbs up if you like it. And if you have any questions, maybe some experience you want to share with me, please do by leaving a comment below. And uh, yeah, as always, I will see you in the next one. Oh. Okay, so this is really nice. Um, guys, I forgot to mention that this lens is really sharp. Wow, um, maybe a bit too sharp. It depends on your, your needs, but wow.